Hello. Welcome to my dining room. It's about 1.45 in the morning on uh, the, the 6th, Wednesday the 6th. Wow. Mm. Oh, I'm not smoking. What is that? Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Come on. Why don't we get a, why don't we get a look at that? Oh, yeah. That, friends, is a legit cappuccino. What I make on my machine over there. Oh, it's so good. Freshly roasted coffee, ground up. Make an espresso shot, and then you throw in some uh, foamed whole milk. That's great. Drinking this. That's why I'm not smoking anything. I'm going to smoke something later tonight. But today, I wanted to show off a couple pipes. Uh, so the other day, Mr. Phil Rivara, like on a Friday, third, last Thursday or Friday, he puts up a video showing uh, about three of his pipes that he has for sale. And they're pretty good looking pipes. And uh, I've, I've always wanted a Phil Rivara pipe. It, ever since I joined the pipe community about two years ago, like I've, Phil's been there. Phil's been around making stuff. And I've even communicated it with him a couple times saying, yeah, man, I'm going to get some of your... I want to get some of your pipes. And he's like, cool, man. Let me know. You know? <laughs> and I see him posting picture after picture of his pipes and flowers. Phil's a hell of a photographer, if you don't know. Uh, he, he posts a lot of pretty pictures, including pictures of his pipes. But they're always like, they're already commissioned, already sold. So I've never, like, never just in the moment been able to, like, here's a pipe for sale. Do you want it? And... and the opportunity presented itself the other day. So I, along with someone else, my good friend, man with the plan, Harlow, he also watched that same video and ordered a pipe from that. Uh, and we didn't, we didn't organize any of that. We just independently of each other ordered uh, the pipes. I say that, and it's two minutes, 23 seconds into this video, and I haven't shown you a pipe. Now, I'll show you something else, too. Uh, Mr. Appalachian Beard Company guy, Barry Lambert, uh, he contacted me. He was looking to, to thin his herd out a little bit of his pipes. And he had a Dagner P4 Bulldog, or a Rhodesian, or whatever whatever you call that for sale. And I was like, yeah. So I took it. So here we go. Here's that one. You know, pretty standard, uh, oop, pretty standard Dagner. Very, uh, very nice. Got the nice bamboo. This is one I've actually been, that's the one that I've, I've been wanting, you know. And so when he contacted me saying, hey, you want a P4 Bulldog? I was like, yes, I do. So, mm -hmm. this is, this is the pipe from Mr. Rivara. We'll go into this. I'll cut open it with my little squid which i won in a raffle from uh, mr barry lambert so i got all kinds of stuff for berries all over my house now so we're cutting into this ting the, the packing let's see very well packed carefully Oop. hey what is this Tobacco, Gorse Hill, 1944. He told me about it. He told me about this, a little sample of some old tobacco. Ooh, that is, that's good. If that's 44 years old, it's still kind of, it's still kind of punchy. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate that. And yes, <laughs> very nice soft bag. The wonders that lie within. I can't wait. <laughs> and we gotta do the reveal. Look at the oh yes, acrylic stem. You got the little metal round thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at it. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Got a little plateaued uh, part of the rim, uh, the rim there. Ooh, yeah, look at. 
smooth. Look at that hole drilled in there. Very nice. Ooh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. It does say Phil Rivara PR on it, but this is now a, a Derek Tant pipe. A uh, forever Derek Tant pipe. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Dude. So this is a horn or a Zulu or whatever you want to call that. I don't care what it's called. Who knows what the preferred nomenclature is. But, man, this is just beautiful. Everybody that I've shown pictures of this thing to... You know, because Phil was able to photograph it very well on Instagram. Everyone that I've showed this to, they were I, like, I bought this pie. And they're like, dude, the grain on the, the, look at the wood. Look at the grain on that thing. It's just sick. It's beautiful. And yes, it is. The, the lighting that I have in here does not do it justice. This is, it's very bright. It's popping out. It's gorgeous. I mean, you can, you can tell a little bit in here. But, in real life, mm. oh man, this is just, this is just a thing of beauty. Phil, Mr. Rivara, man from Sacramento, pipe maker extraordinaire, <laughs> you did good work, my friend. That is beautiful. Uh, so, in the books, my first Phil Rivara pipe. Uh, there's many, many members of the community that are big, big owners of, of Phil Rivara pipes. I know that David, Burly Man 40, Waxing Gibbous, whatever, you know, the guy with the beard from Cincinnati, uh, he is a huge fan of Phil Rivara, and I get, of course, recommendations from, from Boontar and Mail Nurse Piper and just about everybody, anybody, anybody who's anybody. He's got, you know, they're like... Everyone was like, wait, you don't have a Phil pot? You don't have a Phil Rivara pipe? I'm like, I don't, I don't, but I do now. And, uh, yeah. Tobacco Frank, Crossroads Greg, they were all like, dude, dude it's like, it's like a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, you gotta get one. So, you know, got my, I got my Dagner P4, my little knock-around kind of thing, and then I got my fancy schmancy Phil pipe, so... I am excited. This is great. This is a good. This is a good pipe day at the tan house. It's a good coffee day and a good YouTube day. And uh, Mr. Repping my Mike Miller pipes. I still need to get one of those, Mike. I need a billiard. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.